everyone. It's Lena from Kudus. I'm interviewing Zach Bonner today. Zach, do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Zach Bonner, and I'm the founder of the Red Flag Foundation. Um, my organization helps kids, uh, underprivileged youth. There are over 1.3 million homeless youth in this country, um, and uh, youth homelessness is the largest growing um, portion of uh, homelessness. And um, on average, 13 um, children die a day. So was there an experience that kind of made you want to do more for the homeless? When you do something good for someone else, um, it really just it gives you a feeling that's indescribable. I was, um, I was about six, uh, almost seven, when I started with the charity work. Um, it started uh, with uh, and Charlie. Just raising food, water, and supplies um, like that for uh, the victims of Hurricane Charlie. And um, you know, I continued um, after that. I, I just had a really good time with it, so uh, I decided to continue. So, has your age ever worked against you? Yeah, it, it was hard uh, at the beginning, but um, now I think my age works, um, um, I guess, for me. Uh, because uh, it's it's hard to say no to um, you know a, a kid trying to do something good. Zach, can you tell me about your first experience with walking? How far did you walk and why? Uh, well, um, the first walk was from Tampa to Tallahassee. Um, you know, obviously bring uh, awareness to my suit. Um, and that was two hundred eighty miles. Um. Yeah, and that was in 2007. I turned 10 on the first walk and 11 on the second walk. Was this like the longest walk you did, the one to Washington, D.C.? Uh, yeah, that was the longest um, of the three walks. The total of the walks were 1,225 miles. So what did you like best about the walk? Um, one of the things I enjoyed about um, this past walk, the walk from Atlanta to Washington, D.C., was that I actually, um, I got to do little mini projects on the way. Mm -hmm. So I actually got to, you know, um, go to the shelters, um, you know, get to meet and play with the kids and, um, you know, do stuff like that. So do you walk by yourself or does, do people come with you? Actually, um, I'm doing a walk from Tampa to Los Angeles. Um, so, uh, you know, if you want to get involved through a riding foundation, um, or, you know, helping awareness on this youth, you can contact me and, um, you know, come out and walk with me and be a part of the walk. Because um, I'm going to need all the help and if I can, I can get. So, what was the biggest challenge you faced? As far as the walks go, um, the first five days, when your body just isn't used to that much physical exercise. Uh, so, just, just getting used to that. Um, how did you, I guess, overcome that challenge or what made you push forward? I just kept on walking and, um, you know, I mean, these kids don't get to get, don't get to quit being homeless when uh when when they're tired of being homeless. So I try to quit walking. So if somebody else, say a kid, wanted to get involved, what would they have to do? The next time that you uh, that that you see uh, a little child or a homeless person uh, in general, you know, instead of just you know looking away. Um, now you're paying attention, um, you know, just looking that way and saying hi or hello. Um, and that can really, um, that, that can make a difference. And, um, you know, if you want to do something larger, contact your local shelter or, um, and see what you can do. Or, you know, you can contact me, um, again, like I said earlier about the walk. Is yeah. there an age limit, you think, for people helping? Or do you think anyone from five up can start doing their part? Any, um, any age, um, you know, from, from, from five to 80. I mean, you know, no matter how old or how young you are, you, you can make a difference.